Southbound Vineland coming up on Oxnard, center divider, left hand turn block, cuts, hit that white truck we think. We think it clipped the truck, so that might be the second accident we've seen. I think it made contact there. Speeds are slow. Looks like there is someone in the passenger seat wearing a red shirt, possibly. Why don't you push in there for me a little bit? It looked like there was a passenger. It's hard to tell. We saw red in there. Well, we were wrong last night about it. But here we go, continuing southbound on Vineland in the North Hollywood area. Speed's relatively slow, but it's a very large truck, and it's already taken the rear bumper off a car right near the Burbank Airport. Soon as that helicopter night sun came on, that's that spotlight, and they knew they were being followed. They tried getting around that car, and they basically tore off the rear bumper, peeled it right off the car. So at the very least, we have it misdemeanor hit and run suspect it looked like a Toyota Prius that he rip, ripped the rear bumper off he or she ripped the rear bumper off okay so we are southbound on Vineland for Burbank I believe we're streaming let's cut that car off right into the center lane so driving relatively recklessly now even though there's not speed involved this person doesn't care who they cross. Right through the red light, wow, almost into that car, into the middle of the traffic. So this person definitely doesn't have the driving skills that we've seen in the past few pursuits. A very large vehicle, and I don't think they've got the skill sets to maneuver this thing because they've almost hit at least three people that we've seen so far in this very early. Again, not officially a pursuit. Pasadena PD helicopter is following this vehicle, lighting it up. It is in the LAPD North Hollywood Division's area. I don't see if an LAPD airship has even been notified yet. But continuing southbound Vineland, coming up on Hesby Street. We're coming, coming up on a Lancashire here. That's the next major. And I'm looking ahead, and it is a red light in Lancashire. And this is one of those intersections in Lancashire. It's got like four or five streets crossing into it. It's like a big giant asterisk. And you widen out. This is going to be an issue. We'll see this person kind of weaves through like we normally see and peels off another bumper. This person gets desperate and starts moving this big Ford truck around. It looks like paper plates on this Ford. Maybe a 250, maybe a... It's got a king cab in it, both full-size uh, front and rear doors. There. Here we go. Squeezing through two cars and make contact? No. But that's going to be... He's going to make contact with that truck. Scrapes the back end of that older Ford pickup truck or Dodge. Definitely scraped that. So that's the third contact. Head-on. Almost goes head-on with that vehicle right at Vineland in uh, Vineland Place. So, very reckless at this point. Not even a black and white behind them. No, no emergency equipment, no vehicle, no police vehicles. The only thing really following them right now is the police helicopter and us. Southbound on Vineland, coming up on the 134 freeway. Underneath the 134, moving their way towards Universal City. We'll see if they, they park underneath the overpass. Well, here we go. I didn't see the person come out, so we're going to stay a little bit wide here. We're going to watch the back side because they're trying to ditch the helicopter underneath the freeway. Hold here for me. We're going to stay a little wider, please. Watching very carefully. So they're underneath the 134 freeway right on Vineland. We have not seen them exit. So definitely, well, what was that them coming out? That's a different truck, so that's not it. We're going to come back. That's not it, tell them. You sure, Rob? That's not it. Okay. Oh, was that going? We've got to watch carefully. Definitely trying to give the okie doke to the Pasadena Police Department. Now, what we've got to watch here is someone on foot. We've got to, let's get back a little bit over here. We want to make sure that no one walks out. If you see any pedestrians walking out, is that it? No. Paper plates, look at digital in. No. Oh, he was trying, we're hearing that he's trying possibly to carjack someone under the car, according to the scanners. We're not hearing that. The, uh, the desk is giving us that, but trying to, I don't know about carjacking because they would have to have a weapon, but trying to commandeer vehicles underneath the 134 at Vineland. They can see someone running. Okay, we got a foot pursuit here. A male wearing black and red shorts, now running westbound on Riverside. Come back to the west, please. Running westbound on Riverside. Playing around with something in his hands. Night sun's on him. Looks like a white man just dropped something there on Riverside. 
He's putting, playing with his waistband. That is not good news. He's got his hands in his waistband. Running westbound, now crossing over to the south side of Riverside, right near Ensign Avenue. Ensign Avenue, still running, hands in his waistband. That's not a good sign. That's usually the sign of someone or weapon. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to mark this, and we'll put the address out. That is still, they're still under the tree there. He's a white man wearing a black t-shirt and red shirt. Red shorts, I should say. Okay, we do have some, I see some flashlights down there. Okay, widen out just a little bit, widen out. In the front yard, now he's giving it up. Laying down on the front lawn. Law enforcement's there, not sure who that is, but we're right near Ensign and Riverside Drive. It looks like that may be Burbank PD. Taking him into custody now.